So I got the new throw out bearing installed. Nice, quiet, and smooth. Um, all those big boxes of parts I got in. The only thing I got left are these two little seals. Um, I have a video of replacing these before, but just to, if you're new to the channel, there's a seal that goes here that a lot of times leaks, runs down the transmission. Very easy to change. That one's not leaking on here. But the same thing on the gear selector so on this transmission. These are both leaking. So I'll just pull these off, replace these seals real quick, and that'll stop. Considerable oil leak on this transmission. Just a reminder that when you go to take these off, this bolt has to come all the way out because it's not just a split that you got that bolt actually has a notch in the shaft. So it has to come all the way off in order to get to that seal that's back behind there. You ever had one of those seals you were trying to get out when you just about thought you were completely screwed? Like, how am I gonna get that out now? And then finally you get it out. <laughs> that little guy fought me to the very end. The new ones are rubber, they come out so easy. This is the old school. It was really in there. That cleaned up, ready to go with the new seal on there. Top and bottom distance is the is the the bottom still out? The farther? bottom the bottom is the bottom is about a half the where your hand is is about a half inch too high and uh, about there. I just got to line up the holes now. Get close on that where you can see how close it is. I'm a drift pin. Was that good or what? Get me in there. I want to say <laughs> to my fans. <laughs> we got it in. <laughs> the cool cruiser is getting ready to go. <laughs> Okay, now we just got about 30 bolts to put in. <laughs> so this is a 4104 where that trans, you saw me just pull it right, or you know, go right in, straight in. On a 4106, you can't do that because where the bulkhead is here, it comes to about here. So in a 4106, you gotta like pull it back, 
and then kind of tweak it. You got to get the, enough to get the spline off uh, out of the, the clutch, but you got to like kind of tweak it around the corner and then everything's hitting. You're hitting the top, you're hitting the bottom. It's just, it's a lot tighter cl clearances on it and it's much, much harder to remove it on a 4106. So similar transmissions, they're Spicer four speeds, but they are built a little bit different. Um, the way that the bulkhead is and the engine position for the 8V71 is closer to the bulkhead uh, than the six is. But uh, the 4104 is much easier. I'd much rather do a trans on here. Now silver sides to do the transmission, you actually have to take down the rear cradle because this, this whole support from here goes right under the trans and you have to support the engine with that end of the cradle off on a uh, silver sides.